Want smoother gameplay, lower input lag, and a real FPS boost without buying new hardware? These are the best NVIDIA settings for 2025, fully updated and tested on the latest drivers and games. Whether you're playing fast-paced shooters like Valorant and Apex Legends, or big titles like Cyberpunk or Warzone, these tweaks will make your system feel faster and more responsive. I'll walk you through every step, from the new NVIDIA app to classic control panel settings, plus a bonus Windows trick most gamers forget. Let's get your system running at its best, starting with the new NVIDIA app. If you're on the latest version of GeForce drivers, you might already have access to the new NVIDIA app. This replaces GeForce Experience and Control Panel with a unified, cleaner interface. Open the app, and in the sidebar, click Settings Graphics. Now enable the following, Low Latency Mode. This reduces the delay between your inputs and what you see on screen. Turn it on for more responsive gameplay. VSync, set this to off unless you're experiencing screen tearing. Disabling VSync lowers input delay. Image scaling, enable this if you're running games below native resolution. It sharpens up visuals without a huge performance cost. These quick toggles give you near instant improvements without touching advanced menus. If you don't have the NVIDIA app yet, no worries. Everything can still be done through the classic control panel, which we'll get into next. Right-click your desktop and open NVIDIA control panel. On the left side, go to Manage 3D Settings, then the Global Settings tab. This section controls your GPU's behavior system-wide. Here are the key settings to change. Power Management Mode, set this to Prefer Maximum Performance. This keeps your GPU running at higher clock speeds for smoother gameplay, especially in CPU-heavy games. Low Latency Mode, set to Ultra. This forces your GPU to render frames just before they're needed, greatly reducing input lag. Threaded optimization, turn this on. It helps the game spread work across multiple CPU cores, especially useful for modern titles that aren't well optimized. Texture filtering, quality, set this to high performance. You lose a tiny bit of visual fidelity, but gain smoother frame rate and faster load ins. Also, vertical sync, V-Sync, Keep this off unless your monitor is prone to screen tearing. If you're on G-Sync or FreeSync, you're better off letting the monitor handle sync. These changes make your system focus on speed and responsiveness instead of unnecessary quality settings. Next, still inside NVIDIA Control Panel, go to Display, Change Resolution. First, make sure your monitor is running at its maximum refresh rate. If you have a 144Hz or 240Hz display, Windows sometimes defaults to 60 Hz after driver updates. Under the resolution list, choose the native resolution of your monitor, usually 1920 by 1080 or 2560 by 1440. Then, on the right side, make sure refresh rate is maxed out. Bonus Windows optimization, disable full screen optimizations. This last step is a hidden gem for FPS players. Disable full screen optimizations in Windows. Here's how. Go to your game's installation folder, right-click the games.exe file, choose Properties. Under the Compatibility tab, check Disable Full Screen Optimizations. What does this do? Windows tries to optimize full screen apps with overlays and composition buffers, but this can add input lag and mess with frame pacing. Disabling this forces true exclusive full screen mode, giving your GPU direct access to the screen. It's especially noticeable in games where reaction time matters, like shooters, fighters, or rhythm games. You can also optionally check Run as Administrator if you experience input issues. Now your PC is tuned for gaming in 2025. Fast, clean, and fully optimized. But if you really want to push things further, check out my full process lasso tutorial. Let me know in the comments what game you're optimizing for, and if there are other settings you want me to break down next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.